believe it or not, but we are in a boatyard. Uh, this must surely be one of the most beautiful boatyards on the planet. Although we don't know that many yet. This is a boatyard named Actio. As you can see, there are many boats here and most of the boats are stored here for winter. It's pretty quiet because they're kind of hibernating still, waiting for the owner to show up. Um, which hopefully is sooner than later. We're here quite often and we quite like it because as you can see, air here. It's deserted. It's just the wind. And all these boats, you know, they surely they have their own story to tell. I mean, look at this. That must have a story behind it, doesn't it? Anyway, today we're going to take you on another boat tour. This time on a boat for a friend, uh, Dave Whittle. And his boat is in Lefkus. So let's take a look at Aphrodite. Aphrodite, here she is. Lovely, lovely in Lefkus Marina. And uh, the owner of this beauty is our good friend uh, Skipper Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Hi, I'm Skipper Dave, and this is my love of my life, Aphrodite. It's a 39 foot, you know, 39 DS. DS means deck saloon. Um, so you've got two types of 39, a 39i and a 39DS. Another way of saying it is it is the owner's version of the 39 because it only has two main cabins, a uh, bow cabin which you'll see later and the aft cabin which is also known as the master bedroom. Mm. It's quite large, it's a lot larger than a normal cabin. Also the heads, uh, the bathroom and the showers, the toilet, if you're not quite sure about the phraseology. <laughs> Again, they're, they're quite large and very spacious. The side of the boat that we're looking at now, it's a very modern design, even though it's not a new boat, it is a very modern design. And if you look at the uh, starboard side window, that is known as a teardrop window because of the shape of it. Mm. That must be beautiful from the inside. Yeah, fantastic. Plenty of light inside and you'll see that in a moment. Yeah. I've got the Genoa out at the moment. Yeah. It's uh, still winter time, but we've got a very nice day today. No just wind. Drying, just drying out the sail. And uh, just bit by the sail, we've got the dinghy with a cover on it. The thing with the dinghies over here is you've got a lot of UV, which yeah. uh, really affects rubber and neoprene. So yeah. it's a good idea to have some sort of coverage over there just to protect it. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. And then uh, forward of the, you can't actually see it, forward of the dinghy you've got the anchor, 60 metres of 10 mil chain on a 16 kilo delta anchor, which works fine for me. Nice, yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, I'm hoping this summer it's going to be chartered yes. for various customers. I've got two bookings so far, a German family and an Italian family. Okay, but cool. um, with the COVID it might be a little bit difficult. I need to get a little bit more business. Yeah. Uh, it's very expensive having a charter boat. There are a yeah. lot of expenses and all I need to do really is just recoup, recoup my costs this year and then hopefully next year I'll make a little bit of money. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. How uh, old is she Dave? She's actually 12 years old now, believe it or not. Yeah. 12 years old. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, and to go with the dinghy, we've got the Honda 2.3 horsepower outboard engine. Yeah. Four stroke and it's a uh, twin wheel or twin helm. Yeah. It's a single rudder, but because of the width of the beam, it's quite wide. Yep. It's uh, got the two wheels. Sweet, so you can, yeah. You can mix and match. Whichever yeah. side's the most useful with yeah. regards to visibility, yeah. you can mix and match. Right. It's got a bow thruster, which can. If we look at the marina here now. Yeah, this is very say, tight. Huh? It's very tight, yeah. very narrow. And you've got the additional problem of the lazy lines coming down off the bows of the boats. Yeah. So to pivot around, it is really useful to have a bow thruster in that typical yeah. situation. Yeah, definitely. And again, Lefkus, you do get a lot of winds in the afternoon and it can make um, 
mooring a little bit tricky. A lot yes. of boats have problems getting caught on lazy lines when yeah, coming into the marina. Yeah, I can There's imagine. So I mean, look how tight these spaces are. Very, yeah. very tight. I wouldn't like to park a boat. Personally, uh, we, we would never be able to get our, our fat ass boat in here. No. no. Yeah. Not without scratches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if you want to look at the mast, yeah. uh, look at the sail, you might think that that's a little bit different to normal. This is called in mass furling. That's right. Uh, most boats, the sail goes up and down the mast. Like ours, yeah. This one goes in and out of the mast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, if I can give you an example, that boat there with the cover on. With the sail back. That is uh, slab reefing. The sail goes up and down the mast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I found the advantage of mine is it's very easy to reef. You can reef, yeah. reef to any size that you want. That's right. Okay, you're not fixed to reef yeah, three or two yeah. reefing points. You can reef to any uh, size that you need. Yeah, there is. There There's a li little bit of technique to it. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, you have to be a little bit careful. You don't jam the sail in the mast. Yeah, 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 yeah. That can be a problem. Yeah. yeah. That is the main disadvantage with the, that type of sail. Yeah, right. that it might get stuck, and if the wind comes. But then again, that's that's easily solved by taking the cover off of the the mast, right? And then you get this this twirl. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, I might just talking out of my eyes. I do believe you're talking out of your ass. No, you're talking out your ass. Yeah. <laughs> again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I allowed to say that? You are allowed no. to say that. This Can is I say it again? You're talking out your ass. You can't, yeah. Say it again. Oh. Okay. Uh, do it again. <laughs> okay, at the back of the boat, we've got two solar panels, two 100 watt solar panels. Two 100 watts, yeah. Oh, that's um, sweet. They, they, yeah. During the summer, they gave me enough power to uh, use the fridge 24 7. Yeah. Enough oh. power. I very rarely have to use the engine to top up the batteries. How many batteries do you have? I've got three domestic 100 yeah. amp batteries okay. and a 100 amp starter battery ah. and a 110. Oh, bow yeah. thruster battery up nice. in the front there. Yeah. So oh, there's a separate, separate battery. Separate oh, that's, battery that's good. Yeah, yeah. Because those are huge power drainers, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, bow yeah. thrusters. Yeah. Uh, we've got a good sized bimini. Obviously, when it's summer and hot, yeah. we do need some shade. Uh, at the moment, for the winter, it's folded away yeah. for protection. Uh, in the summer, that, that will be out. Sweet. Yeah. And you got a spray hood, so you know for the incoming yeah. raves yeah. that don't catch in your face. Yeah. On the back, we've got the swim ladder. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. So it, it's called a sugar scoop, this design. Yes. A sugar yeah. scoop. That's and right. basically, yep. you dive off the back of the boat. Yeah. Making sure you put the swim ladder down first. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> you, yeah. It happens. Uh, there's an experience uh, uh, advice, isn't it? And then just behind the swim ladder by the no shoe sign is uh, an outside shower. Oh, we oh. love those. Those are very convenient. Yes. With fresh water then. So you, you come out yeah, yeah. in the water yeah. and you yeah. rinse yourself off. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's also handy to sugar school because you can sit on the little deck at the yacht. Yeah. Because we don't have it. Ours is just. Ours is straight. Yeah. So we have to climb up and yeah. down. But, but this for, is just nice yeah. to. For, for med yeah. mooring. This is. Yeah. This, this is an ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You it's can sit on the back, clean a fish. Yeah. And, you know. if you look at double bill just behind us. I don't know who owns it. That, but that's similar to yours, isn't it? Uh, it's quite similar. Yeah. 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 Centre so cockpit. So coming dark. into a mooring yeah. like this. Yeah. You know, getting on and off. Yeah. Getting the lines. With this, you just step straight to the pontoon. True, absolutely. And you have an aft uh, cockpit and a rear. So it's also foolproof, like if you have a few glasses and you're tipsy, it's easier to get up and down than. Oh, can you expand on that? A few. <laughs> <laughs> foolproof. <laughs> so, Dave, yeah. what's that little exhaust thingy on the side? That's, just a, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you um, eat that? That is an exhaust outlet for the diesel heater. It's called the Webasco diesel heater. Oh, you got a Webasco. Yeah. Webasco, but not that you need it in the summer here. No, not really, do you? No. Yeah. No. We have an urban spacker, yeah. which is kind of the same, but it's like yeah. a diesel yeah, drip yeah, 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 yeah. fat yeah. heater. Yeah. Eh? Doesn't use anything. Nice. No, no it's really efficient. It's economical. Yeah. Okay, Sweet. Shall, shall I show you on board? Let's yeah. Yeah, have a look. User? Right, here we are aboard in a very, very wide saloon. That's why it's called DS, right? The deck saloon. Yeah. Tear shape. Look at the space you got here, man. Massive. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah, massive. Yeah, look at this side. Sweet, yeah. You get some storage. Oh, oh, I like that. Nice. That is cool. Yeah, yeah, the French boats are really good at storing wine in, in the yeah. most. Uh, practical spaces as you said dual helm yeah. here okay i'll just 
it's it's, du it's dual and it, it's repeated on that side yes okay so if i if you don't mind me using my fingers uh, you've got the binnacle which is a compass uh-huh same on the other same side on the other side yeah that's right uh here we have the wind speed and direction indicator right uh, the next one it's not on but that gives you the speed right. and the depth that's right and the last one here is the autopilot, yes. autopilot. and then i think i mentioned it earlier yeah. the bow thruster, the bow thruster yeah yeah uh, the only difference is that you only have your controls here on uh, starboard side well that means your, your throttle and uh, yeah. and your engine panel yeah. but for the rest they're all uh, similar you got just two instruments here yeah all except the uh, autopilot yep that's the same. Nice. And then in the center we've got a very good uh, Garmin uh, chart plotter. Garmin uh, yeah. LCD touchscreen, fantastic. Sweet. I heard that you, some of them you can you can use as a telly as well. Is it? You can use uh, some of them. They, they even have Netflix on them. I'm a dinosaur. I don't know about those things. Dinosaurs don't know about the, uh, Netflix. Z cards, you know, that you also use for Maybe, cameras. Maybe, yeah. And that's where the charges are, are on. So if you put movies on there. Well, if, you, if anybody has an idea what I'm talking about, just leave your comments uh, down below. Yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you are not qualified and you still want to enjoy the uh, Greek summer on the water, you can always hire a skipper. Yeah. Now let's see if we can find one. No, oh god, oh oh my god, this one. <laughs> Is that me? Well Okay. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually an, a Royal Yachting Association Yacht Master, which is a recognised qualification. I also have the ICC. I'm an advanced uh, paddy open water diver, I've got my power boat qualifications, blah blah blah. Yeah. Five um, so hours later. Yeah. <laughs> if um, you come along and you hire the boat but you haven't got the same qualification, yeah. you can hire me in addition. So yeah. basically a very quick Perfect. price, uh, 1,600 euros out of season, 2,000 in season and 150 day for a skipper. Yeah. But that drinks, you also serve the drinks then? On yeah, the yeah, you get free water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, salt water? No, no, it's... <laughs> nice. uh, I, I, I gotta say guys we've been working for charter companies and we yeah. know quite well this is an amazing price i yeah, have never never heard it before really, Very so. but that's price. between you and yeah. me don't tell dave that because yeah. he's not nah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's have a look inside all right, BB, uh, before we head down below, uh, I just noticed one more thing, a lot of it actually, how well these jammers are labeled, you see? So yeah, well, clearly uh, your traveler, the spinnaker, topping lift, out hole, all that, it's yeah. very nicely arranged. Both um, sides. Yeah, both sides, look at that. All different all colors labeled. for the lines, so that's always very handy. You know exactly where to go, and uh, your traveler is way up here. And it's also very quite easy to solo sail um, this boat because every everything uh, the sheets do run off, and this is very convenient spot to uh, have your winches. Oh, hurricane! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winches, yeah. Uh, two big ones over there. Yeah. And then, uh, two small ones, two over, small here. ones over there. So you can operate all from the cockpit. Yeah. It's very convenient. It's very nice. Ore orea. Going down in Aphrodite's underbelly. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at, at the that. space. Look at that screen. Look at that. We even have a TV. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Oh, we've seen hotel rooms worse than this. Okay. Okay. Worse. So we've got the LCD smart TV, which is also Wi-Fi. If you've got Wi-Fi on your phone, ah. yeah. uh, you can hotspot the TV. Yeah. Uh, we've got a radio uh, CD player, external speakers, our plotter, the Raymarine. Another char plotter right okay, here. Okay, we've got the main VHF radio. We have what's called Navtex, which is uh, updated weather information. Yeah. And that is the main control panel. Um, if you take over the boat, I would explain exactly what, what is uh, on, on the control panel there. Yeah. And uh, the amount of battery power that is being used. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, with the solar panel, we've got a controller here, which is telling me how much power is coming in from the solar, solar panel. Wow. Sweet. And this is also a brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's perfect, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Chart table, of course, yeah. yeah. A really spacious galley. Let's see. Uh, the fridge, uh, absolutely huge fridge. Um, I could actually get Lotter in there. Yeah. Quite easily. Probably oh. goes to the bottom. I'll open that for you. Yeah. Okay, it's so big, I have Dead to put body. this in the bottom to fill it out. Hello. Look at it, it's just... Oh. Is, is there anybody in there? Oh. I can't even reach the bottom. Can I do it? Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is where you store the here. You store your dead bodies. Imagine that full of beer. Oh, yeah. the amount of beer that could get. Oh. Yeah. Okay, plenty of cupboard space, pots, pans, yeah. uh, the gas cooker, oven, grill. Dimble stove, yeah. gimbal stove. That's awesome. You got two sinks, gimbal. which is love. Yeah. And a splash screen so that if somebody's doing the dishes and somebody's chilling out here, you won't get a wet neck. Unless which is you nice. Unless you want to, you toss it over. Yeah. Okay, this is quite important actually. Uh, that's where the wine goes. Oh, yes, that's good. Shot, no, yeah, that can't be big enough. I was waiting for it. Where yeah. is it? The wine. Line. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you see it. We've got a bottle of glue vine left over from the Ooh. winter, ah, that's which a... I need to remember to take back with me after this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the rest good? of the cupboards just food, yeah. food, food storage. A very comfortable seating. As the well, it's, it's well known the French uh, really. The cushions, the they're cushions. very, yeah, very uh, strong. strong. Like, like Benito and Jano, the yeah, cushions yeah. Are, are an awesome feature. Okay, yeah. and in, in the space. corner we have a fan. There is a fan in yeah. every compartment. Oh, that's good. Because uh, it, it will get, well, it's got 40 degrees Celsius sometimes, degrees, as I remember. Yeah, 40 yeah, plus, yeah, 40, I think, yeah. Yeah. Celsius, yeah. 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 But speaking of which, I mean, there's a lot of air ventilation going through the entire boat. This is a huge hatch. And we've got a screen. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, uh, this is a it. this is a mosquito. Mosquito, screen. eh? Yeah. yeah. Which you, you get those in summer. Yeah, yeah. You got this nice switch on LED, so they're all separate. That's that's nice instead of one switch for all. Yeah. Individual switches. Yeah, I like exactly. that. That's, so you won't waste really cool. it all. Yeah. Okay. If you want to look at the yes, this is the uh, I, I mentioned earlier. It's really in, in large heads in comparison to most boats. Totally. You've got a. a Fantastic shower area, well, plenty of room, you don't have to squeeze yourself in there. Yeah, you don't bump into the walls while just taking a shower. That is you, look at the hat space. Oh, look at my hat space, look at it. Yeah, yeah, I can jump around in here. More than two meters. God, it is huge, yeah. You get a curtain here for the splashing. Nice, and this is a normal uh, Japsco marine mm -hmm. toilet, yeah? Yeah, it's just yeah a standard. The, only, the only thing you need to remember about a marine toilet is you don't put anything in there from what comes out of the body yeah yeah uh, like a Greek house or a Greek taverna you have to put the, uh, the paper towels in a, a separate bin in a bin which is just that oh, that's good. the closer to the, to the bowl the better so you don't even have to go <laughs> um, and the reason for that is the pipe work is very narrow and yes. quite easily be blocked uh, yes really spacious I love it I really do okay. and then coming out to the right you've yeah. got the main cabin yeah Oh my god, look at that. That is like a six star hotel. Look at the space, guys. And that goes deep. Yeah, you could fit more into the people in there. Yeah, you could. That is wide. Mum and dad and two kids in there, Wow, you got many, many portals to open up. And I like the fact that you can actually open them. Yeah. Because. You've got the fan there. you got a fan here. Yeah. And a lot of space here. Yeah. I like that. The, the box that is there, I was going to remove it, but I've left it there. That is the Greek certified first aid and COVID kit. Oh, and it's huge. Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a, a huge box of drugs. Yeah, and uh, underneath the box is obviously another storage compartment. More storage here. Yeah. And as it is with these boats, there's storage everywhere. everywhere. All the places you can't see, trust me, there's storage. And um, under my feet, there's storage. Under the yeah. bed. Yeah. I presume uh, th this is uh, the battery compartment. Yes, yeah. 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 Ah, okay. yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, very, very cozy indeed. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With the boat, you get all your bedding, towels, yeah. dishcloths. Um, the only thing you have to buy is your food and any cleaning equipment that yeah. you need yourself. Yeah. Everything is included. Everything's on the boat. Cutlery, pans, pots, yeah. everything yeah. you need to Glasses. cook and, and to have a, a nice yeah. Yeah. few days of holiday. Yeah, there will be a small get you unpacked. The yeah. shop also can I can arrange for the shop to bring the supplies to the boat. <laughs> boat snack. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So you 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 buy it, you pay for it, they will deliver it. And uh, it depends on where you you you'll be arriving on your boat, but most of the times you can get diesel on yeah. the quay and yeah. the marinas yeah. quite easily. Yeah. But they will all be taken care of before you're on the boat. So yeah, the day full boat. The fuel will be full. Yeah. The boat's going to be uh, based in a fantastic place called Palaros. Ooh, well, I heard about it. Uh, Absolutely.
absolutely fantastic. Sounds great. Uh, it's a traditional Grig harbour. It's not spoilt. It's a very traditional, very nice town. Yeah. And they are very friendly and very helpful. We can uh, we can vouch for that. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. Balaros number one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the power supply on the inside of the boat is run by an inverter only for this particular pl plug here. So anything uh, that you need charging up can be used through that inverter socket. Every cabin has one of these for when you're on shore power and every cabin also has a plug socket like a cigarette lighter. If you need it then I'll supply a USB socket to go into the cigarette lighter socket. <laughs> And there are also uh, sockets in every cabin, which is very convenient, and also a 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, every cabin. in every cabin, yeah. as well as fans in every cabin, really good fans, these are the silent fans, uh, we have them ourselves, and um, they're not the cheapest, but hey, you don't have to pay for them separately, and trust me, they're very silent and good and very economical, so, um, looks very comfy to me. Um, another magical feature is uh, all the boats, uh, although they are sailboats, they also have an engine in them, of course. And this one right here is behind a staircase, and we are looking at a Yanmar, beautiful, maintained, well maintained engine. Bravo, Dave, well done. Uh, 40 horsepower. 40 horsepower, and three cylinders. She is in an immaculate state. Look yeah. at yeah. that. Meticulously. You got, yeah, that's the word. And it's a straight shaft on the propeller, not a. Uh, what's it called? The one that bends? Sail drive? Sail drive, yeah. yeah. It's not sail drive, it's straightforward yeah. yeah. Sweet. But as a as a customer, and uh, you don't have to worry about anything uh, behind the staircase, uh, Dave will make sure that everything is spick and span. If there is something wrong with the engine, you get in touch with Dave, and uh, he will make sure that you'll be up and running in no time. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Let's check the deck. Alright, let's check out the deck of this beauty. Let's check out the deck. Yeah, check out the deck, and as you see, this is uh, the rough surface, which is good, so you don't easily slip over. You got really high um, guardrails here, loads of things to hang on to, and uh, you see these shrouds here. They're spliced in a way that well, I might be explaining this wrong. Uh, one is here with a deck plate, and the other one goes through. And then we go to the bow. The dinghy is here. UV protective canvas and as Dave explained it to you the anchors the anchor locker which is right under here 
And again, uh, I mentioned wow. it before, but I really like anchor lockers that are deep, like Ooh. these. Look how deep Very that is. Very nice. So again, that means no shoving, uh, shoving in meters of chain by uh, broomstick and uh, boat. control, so you don't need to. Yeah, yeah windlass control. In case it doesn't work, you can always put the winch in. Yeah, which I really like. I like that. As and well. look at the size of those cleats. Yeah, nice big. Good you you, you, went, you mentioned that. Yeah, big cleats. Yeah. So uh, loads of space for lines, and you have cleats on the midship. Here as well, which is very convenient, especially for a boat this size. Yeah, the dinghy. Yep, exactly. Very sturdy dinghy with a with a little outboard. Yeah. And uh, and this is the head. This is why they, uh, you know. Well, actually, it is uh, it, it is actually why they call it a head. Because uh, oh, in, yeah. the, in the old days, when you had this this big uh, boat from the, from the 15th, 16th century, uh, the head was actually on the bow. So you do your droppings and it just drop fall in. And, uh, but now you yeah. just don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that in the marina, guys. Don't use this head. Use the one inside. Oh, there is a story of me trying to uh, do the business in the water, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, for, that's for Patreons only. <laughs> so yeah. be sure, be sure <laughs> to check out the website. I'll tell the patrons. Hi. All right. Yeah. I think uh, this concludes our boat tour of the Genoa Sun Other Sea. 39 DS with the huge uh, typical uh, windows portals and the water lovely and this is Dave and this is Dave this is Dave <laughs> I hope to see you in the summer <laughs> yeah stay safe there you go <laughs> bye guys hope to see you soon